So I come from the first era of YouTube. That means that I'm very used to people treating like the background as a stage, the camera as a locked off passive observer. Kind of like stand-up comedy. That's how I sort of envision my space is like a stage where I can be loud and move around and a place where me, the actor, I get to dance around and be silly. And I know that the TikTok people are more used to the picked up camera, much more so than the locked off version where people are holding it and directing it and moving around and talking to themselves. But because I'm from the old age, because I'm from the old times, to me, this feels much more natural. So forgive me if this seems a little bit old or if my style feels outdated. What I wanted to talk to you today about was gender roles. That's why I went through the rigmarole of doing some laundry for you. <laughs> My asthma is really bad, so I'm very panty this video. You're gonna have to excuse that. I'm gonna edit out as much of it as I can, obviously. There's this concept that the top has to be the tall butch one. There's also this concept that all trans femmes are bottoms. And both of them basically come from gender roles. It's similar to that shitty thing that people used to say to like gay men and lesbians. Which one of you is the man? Which one of you is the woman? In both situations, that's just cis heteronormativity, just in action. There doesn't have to be a direct corollary between a queer relationship and a straight relationship. Both these things come together to kind of make a lot of trans people, especially trans femmes, feel like they have to act a certain way, be a certain way, love a certain way. And it just all sucks. It just all sucks. This heteronormativity squeaks its way into our conversations all the time. What I'd love is if trans people were given the space to just be themselves without having to explain ourselves. I wish that we didn't have to constantly justify how our relationship exists, why it exists, and the shape of it. And while we're on the conversation, why are people so weird about switches? People being weird about switches does kind of feel like recycled biphobia because people are weird about bisexual people as well. I'm bi and people are always telling me that I'm greedy or that I should pick a side. And I'm not greedy, I have one partner and I've had one partner for a decade. Trying to do mental gymnastics to understand why a tall trans woman would want to be the receiver in a sexual relationship is really strange to me. It's not necessary. You don't have to pontificate about why a tall woman would want to feel vulnerable because don't we all want to feel vulnerable sometimes the word top and the word bottom i think that using these terms is a way for the cishets to basically short circuit our relationship dynamics you're trying to reduce it down to a known quantifiable binary but the fact that this now dominates the way we converse in online spaces just leads me to believe that it is more authoritarian cishet bullshit. 